Panasonic Viera TCP 60 GT 50 60 inch 1080p 600Hz Full HD 3D Plasma TV, 2012 model. Full HD 3D Infinite Black Pro Panel Vera Connect Wi-Fi built-in with web browser glass and metal design one-year manufacturer's warranty TV without stand, with X height X depth 55.4 inch X 33 inch X 2.1 inch C TV with stand, with X height X depth 55.4 inch X 34.9 inch X 15.3 inch. Size, 60 inch The GT50 series features Full HD 3DC Infinite Black Pro Panel can be era connect with web browser and built-in Wi-Fi. Other unique features include 24C576 shades of gradation 2500, focused field drive EC and it is THX 3D certified GRI producing 2D and 3D images with cinema-like quality. Viera Connect IPTV more fun comes via a cloud service Viera Connect is a cloud service that provides apps in categories like video and music see social networking game esque news and lifestyle exports health and fitness learn more about the world of smart Viera and Viera Connect here enhance your TV experience with popular apps popular apps on Viera connect include Netflix Amazon instant video Facebook C Twitter Wall Street Journal and Hula plus all optimized for the best user experience in the 2012 TVSC you can have an unlimited number of apps installed because those apps are stored in the cloud rather than in the TV memory itself. Pro learn more about smart TVSC how they work what services are offered by different manufacturers can exactly what you'll need to get started at Amazon Smart TV Center. Per clicker video on demand cross searching find your favorite movies and video content easily with one step searching which allows you to cross search from multiple VOD services. For ease of USCC use the quick keyword input on Viera Connect to help retrieve your desired content faster. Customize your screen by grouping commonly used apps and displaying them on the screen for easier use. BRVIERA remote app support The Viera remote app lets you use a smartphone or tablet device as a remote control. Tap and flick based commands are intuitive. Use your smartphone as a gamepad for Viera Connect game applications or your tablet as a touchpad to control what you do on the TV screen. Display the same web pages on both your Viera screen and your smartphone with a simple flick. Simply swipe and share your favorite photos, music and movies from your smartphone to your Viera TV anytime. BR per communicate with family and friends the social networking TV app allows you to access social network sites and communicate with your loved ones while simultaneously watching TV. Watch live sports games while upping the excitement by chatting with your friends as the game unfolds. Record an original message and set it as your answering voice message. Callers can record messages onto an SD card, MIN 512MB required, see while you are away. Skype camera not included with TV purchase for expressive ec lifelike colors and beautifully reproduced crisp lines with the GT50C the 1C080P pure direct function transmits and outputs high quality video signals directly to the TV. Diagonal lines and edges are detected with high precision for all types of images and optimal correction is applied to achieve beautiful highly natural noise free lines. P 
people's faces are detected and skin tones are corrected to ensure soft see natural complexions. The perfect smart TV experience, a suite of technologies Smart Viera Engine Pro a dual-core processor chip for high-end models, only available on the WT50C, GT50C and VT50 models which provides enhanced differentiated image quality and processing at high speed. Image quality is enhanced to faithfully reproduce the inherent beauty of the image. DLNA slash built-in WIFA connect this DLNA compatible Viera HDTV and DLNA compatible AV equipment to your home network and you can watch movie-esque listen to music see and view photos from any room in the house. Viera HDTV's Wi-Fi capability gives you even more layout flexibility. The GT50 series has built-in Wi-Fi 0.600 Hz sub-field drive and 2500 focused field drive. The GT50 features 600 Hz technology which allows for superb full HD motion and still images. Panasonic uses unique image analysis technology which allows for greater clarity with motion images. The GT50 also employs Neo Plasma Black 2500 FDD to provide a crisp image even when the content shows very fast motion. 3D 24P Cinema Smoother Viera gives you naturally flowing 24P images with the look and tonal characteristics of film and familiar TV like quality. Panasonic's advanced source analysis and frame generation deliver smooth C natural and lifelike images. BR operate multiple systems with just one remote control through Viera Link. The GT50 features Viera Link, a technology that allows a consumer to operate all Viera Link compatible AV components using only the TV's remote control. Just point the Viera remote at your TVC and the signal will travel over the HDMI wires to the right piece of equipment see whether it be your Panasonic Blu-ray or DVD player or Panasonic Home Cinema Surround System. Share content on the large screen with 2D 3D conversion Unique Panasonic technology converts 2D images into high quality 3D in real time. The 3D effect is natural and realistic. Enjoy Blu-ray movie-esque DVD movies and even ordinary TV broadcasts in 3D. The super resolution function allows images that were converted from 2D to 3D to be displayed in sharp, clear 3D images. Learn more about Panasonic's true-to-life full HD 3D technology here. Pro learn more about 3D see how it works and exactly what you'll need to enjoy 3D at home at our 3D center. BR Ultra Blacks with the Infinite Black Pro panel the GT50 series feature self-illuminating panels with ultimate black levels. Enhancements to the panel and cells help reproduce images with smooth C natural gradation and deep rich blacks, even when viewed in bright surroundings. In movie-esque the deep blacks faithfully convey the intent of the filmmakers adding power and realism to the viewing experience. Br environmentally friendly Panasonic's commitment to sustainability and producing ecologically sound products is evidenced in the 100C000 hour lifespan of the plasma display panel and the lack of lead or mercury in the panels. Panasonic's plasma panels last up to 100C000 hours before the brightness decreases by half, that's more than 30 years of viewing 8 hours a day. With Echo Modec Panasonic TVs turn off and adjust brightness depending on operating status. The power save setting also adjusts screen brightness to reduce power consumption. 2012 Panasonic Viera Plasma HD TV Comparison Chart Series VT50 GT50 ST50 UT50 XT50 U50 Models, 
C55C65 50C55 C55 C60 C6550 C55 C60 C65 42C50 C55 C65 1050 high definition resolution 1080p full HD 3D 1080p full HD 3D 1080p full HD 3D 1080p full HD 3D 720p HD 3D 1080p full HD Mercury and lead free panel long panel life Viera link game mode media player SDC USB CDLA and violin SD card slot HDMI slash USB port 4 thirds 4 thirds 3 halves 2 halves 2 halves 2 slash 1 2 D 3 D conversion W slash face detection W slash face detection Wi-Fi capability built in Wi-Fi built in Wi-Fi built in Wi-Fi Wi-Fi ready Wi-Fi ready DLNA violin Smartphone remote function fast switching phosphors Viera Connect 2500, focused field drive Skype communication social networking TV e help infinite black panel W slash louver filter ultra pro 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 settings 3D real SOUND 24C 576 shades of gradation THX 3D certified Viera touchpad controller 96 Hz playback of 24 PISFCC CC online movies dimensions dimensions 55.4 WX 34.9 HX 15.3 D withstand slash 55.4 WX 33 HX 2.1 D without stand Update, September 29C 2012 SOC It's been a few months since I wrote my initial review of the GT50 and I wanted to give another update. BR overall the set is working great. I have not gotten it professionally calibrated I want to do that next month see but the picture still looks fantastic see both for 2D and 3D content, the Avengers looks amazing. Interesting lick I find myself using the THX cinema settings just as often if not more often than the custom settings I had generated using the various calibration discs. That may be more out of laziness than anything else to be honest. A few things, 1, if you have a lamp or a window in your room that you think will reflect on the screen see be aware that the anti-glare coating will not cut it during the day. You'll need heavy drapes for the day and use a dimmer or just turn off the lamp at night. It can be distracting. 2. My biggest frustration is that I am noticing some degree of line bleed which I guess is a problem with plasmas in general I noticed it with my old Samsung but find myself noticing it a lot more with the GT50. I am very frustrated to have to report this to you all and I am going to see what I can do about ITC if anything again this is something that happens on all plasmask apparent lick I just wanted to make sure you all knew that I was finding it somewhat distracting. Line bleeding is when a ghost version of another element on a screen actually appears on part of the screen where where it shouldn't for example a character's face might be in front of a window sill the ghost of the sill continues across the character's face. There is some discussion of line bleed on the GT50 here. I am not going to change my star rating for my review based on what I am perceiving as a limitation of the technology as opposed to the set, but it's something to keep in mind. I will be doing some research to see what if anything I can do to address the situation and let you know what happens. Final look I have received a few email inquiring which kind of TV stand I have, in the pictures section. I got the stand in 2007 from IKEA Sadlik I do not think they make it anymore. It's a pitic it's kind of a perfect TV stand B-R-O-R-I-G-I-N-A-L review B-R after 6 years it was time to replace my aging 42 Samsung Plasma, 
during which a circuit board died which ended up requiring an all new screen to be installed thank goodness I had the extended warranty. At first I went with the UN55D8000C which was a good looking set granted but just didn't have the picture quality I wanted so I ended up returning that less than a week after it arrived. Then I heard about the new Panasonic models coming out and realized that the GT50 looked like a promising candidate. I have had the TV for less than a week and there is no way I am returning this incredible plasma television. I will share some initial thoughts, and have submitted photos as well, see and will update my comments later as a kind of progress report. If you care about picture quality and don't feel like waiting for the VTC look no further. This set has one of the best pictures out of the box I have ever seen with deep silky blacks and vibrant, not never overly so, colors. My go to test for black levels is the first scene of episode 9 of the first season of Game of Thrones which takes place entirely in the shadows. Quite frank click I didn't know Blu-ray could look so good. The details in the bricks and the clothing all illuminated by a flickering torch see were astounding. There was a real sense of depth and clarity even with this very dark scene incredible. I dialed in my own settings using the Spears and Munsell disc C but the settings included in the THX cinema mode worked really well and are a great starting point. The color controls for this TV are very extensive and I think a professional calibrator could really make this set sing. I will get a real calibration done in a month and let you know how it goes. Suffice to say see once I dialed in the proper brightness and contrast and turned pretty much everything else off, and making sure to turn the panel brightness to low, dash the set was great. I watched Tron in 3D using the Apo BDP93C and was very impressed with the 3D and the clarity of the picture. I don't have a lot of 3D content C so I will make sure to add more comments once I see more films. The glasses which are not cheap are light and quite comfortable though it's annoying you are supposed to charge them via the TV when the TV is on. It would be nice if they came with little carrying cases or bags but no such luck. I have DX TV and the 1080i picture looks fantastic as does the Apletus 1080p. It is with Blu-ray C however that this set really feels most at home. I cannot overstate how rich the contrast is. My wife continues to comment on how much she notices the better picture rec which is a great sign. I have this plugged into my sound system so I haven't even heard the speaker Skrillex so I can't comment on the sound quality. Bras I illustrate in the picturesque the HDMI ports are very close to the side of the cabin C so if you have thicker HDMI cable you really need to coax them gently down the side so they don't poke out behind the set. I have a set of blue jeans cable which work just fine but my better cables HDMI is definitely very close to the edge. Speaking of cable while the set does come with a cable stay see there is only one, though there are four places to put it, dash Panasonic really needs to include it another. The bezel is very thin and the set is not that much thicker than the Samsung LCD I had just a few weeks ago. I really like how it looks in the room. The screen swivels about 10 either direction which is nice. It's also much lighter than I thought it would be, I was able to put the stand on and lift it into place by myself, thought clear like you should have someone help you I was just excited. This is a really great set. I haven't seen the ST50C but I can't help but feel that the extra 24C000 shades of grey really push this TV to a higher level of picture quality. I am extremely extremely pleased so far and I am looking forward to putting it through its paces and will let you know how it goes. BR Update, 
April 11, 12 I started playing with the internet apps last night and wanted to add a few notes, 1, every time I press Viera tools or internet I am kind of shocked how fast the interface comes up. This is by far the fastest interface I have ever used thanks to the dual processor. It's so fast that you start to get the feeling that you might actually use the internet on this thing. 2. Panasonic does have a web browser, app store lifestyle, but it's a pain to download, you have to enter in your credit card information even though the application is free, I just wish it was included. I am going to fill out my credentials on the Vieracast website because it's kind of annoying to enter in the data using the remote. 3. The YouTube interface is actually pretty nice. The text is displayed larger than on the Apple TV and you can sort by HD content only which the Apple TV does not let you do so that's very cool. 4. I still need to check out Netflix, Hulu and see Voodoo and other applications. The GT50 offers a very comprehensive assortment of online services and, like I said, it's very easy and intuitive to get to. Brother Things 1. Clicking on Viera Tools brings up a toolbar on the lower part of the screen from which you can access various items, 3D options, THX options, basic like switch from THX Cinema to THX Bright Room and one other THX mode. Pretty good for testing out your custom settings with the THX ones. Viera Connect pretty much the same as pressing the internet button on the remote, media player, DLNA, wasn't applicable to my system, Viera Link, not really sure what the difference is between Viera Connect and Viera Link, I will check it out and update this post, Echo, adjusts the auto brightness features, e-help, access to the 208 page manual viaduct a specialized interface too, there is an iOS app, and I would assume an Android app, that can take the place of the supplied remote. Control Use Folk I guess see for Harmony users who may need specialized controls from time to time. This seemed to work well for the most part but I have some thoughts, the app makes ridiculous sounds when using the remote. You can turn the sounds off. Really silly. The trackpad controls are the default screecy but you cannot control the TV with them. You need to swipe to another pane to get to the arrow keys to navigate the menus. This was confusing at first and then just kind of irritating because you have to go to one page to call up options then swipe to another page to interact with the options. The reason why I gave up entering my credentials to get the web browser was because the keyboard on the iOS app was not sending text to the TV. This is clearly a bug but once it is fixed this will work like the applet where you can use your iOS device to type into the TVC which is obviously much better than using the remote. Lame it's not working for mech though. There is an iPad specific app which I have looked at but I haven't used with the TV, I don't know if it consolidate the various panes cool update. SOC I don't know how important these services and internet features are to you. I really like my applet so I already have most of them but am curious to see Voodoo's video quality and check out how Dolby Digital Plus sounds I hope it works the to slink output. I personally will be using my iPad or phone to deal with Facebook, C, Twitter, etc. Even though image retention and burn-in are much less likely to be a problem on modern Plasmask, I don't really feel like tempting fate with having a static web browser interface on the screen while I am surfing the web. Hope this update helps. April 15, 23 Quick Update Tried the 3D Here's what I got. 1. 2D 3D conversion was nothing to write home about. I didn't know if it was working half the time. Maybe I did something wrong but it just gave me a headache. 
2, Straight Up 3D is awesome. Watched beginning of Hugo and found it hard to press stop. If you are into the 3DC you may want to get the 55 for a more immersive experience act but the 50 was fantastic regardless. I still think the glasses make your eyes get tired but still the depth is really great and the sense of immersion with floaty bits was really top notch see at least in Hugo. Lucy 3D might look brighter on the LED slash LCD set I had before rec but there was a sense of depth here that I felt lacking in the Samsung I tried out. 3. I have a few THX Blu-rays. I watched them in THX cinema mode and they looked awesome. Maybe THX is not necessarily just hype for, demoed the streaming services. Voodoo's HDX format is no joke it looks incredible close, from my viewing distance, to Blu-ray C totally. HOWEVERC I could not get Dolby Digital Plus 7.1 which is supposed to sound great, output from the Tislink output on the TV. I am pretty sure DD and requires HDMI C so that explains it. Still DD and includes the DD 5.1 mix and that sounded great. I was really impressed with the Vudo service and I think I will use it. Amazon and Netflix both looked great as well. I still like the Apple TV UIC but this ain't half bad. Note, I talked to someone on the Panasonic Raise the Bar Tour and she acknowledged that the iOS remote control app had some issues, the Android one is supposed to work fine, and that my problem, the keyboard not working, was going to be fixed soon. It was kind of cool that she knew about that. Final look I put up some new photos showing a few off-axis viewing exam plus a bird's eye view of the swivel angle and some shots showing Voodoo and Amazon content. Thanks Am.